The sum if s function is an awesome function, and we're going to look at that in this tutorial. And what the sum if s function will do will allow you to sum a column based on criteria that you set. And it can be based on more than one criteria. Now, if you're familiar with sum if, you know sum if is based on one criteria. But sum if s is based on multiple criteria. So let's have a look at our table of data. We have some sample data here and we have date, invoice no number, customer ID, product, color and sales. And let's say you want to be able to calculate the sales for both a product and a color. So you want to be able to look up two conditions. Well, the sum won't do it and the sum if won't do it. So we need to use the sum if s. So we can select sum if s and we see our screen tip here. The first thing it's looking for is a range. The second thing it's looking for is the first criteria range and then the first criteria. So where is the range that we want to sum? Well, we want to sum our sales. So I am going to select our sales range to be the range that we want to sum. After this, it's then looking for our criteria range. So our cr criteria range is the range in which you're going to find the first criteria. Now, our first criteria is product. So we will find this in our products column. So we will select our products column. Then it's asking us, well, what is our criteria? Well, our criteria is that it has to be a jumper. So we can select this cell to say jumper. Now, if you didn't have this product in a cell, if you were typing it in or hard coding it in, you, because it's text, would need to put it in inverted commas. After this, it's then saying, okay, what's your second criteria range? So if you have a second criteria, what is the range? Well, the second criteria is the color. So we need to select all of the data for the color. And once we have this selected, we put in a comma and it's saying, well, where is our second criteria or what is our second criteria? Well, our second criteria is the color and we're looking for at the moment blue. Now we don't have a third criteria and you can see the second criteria and the third criteria and subsequent criteria will be in these square brackets. So that means that they're optional. So you can go up as many criteria as it allows you or just one criteria if that's what you want. So when you have all your criteria in, you can select enter and it will then calculate the sales or sum the sales for just the product jumper that's blue. Now I've added in some data validation here so we can pick blue dresses or we can change blue dresses to red dresses. Or again, we could select a different product. We could look at boots and we see we have no red boots. We have green boots, but we don't have any blue boots. So by using the sum if s function, you're able to sum data based on multiple criteria. If you've liked this video, I hope that you will give it the thumbs up and that you will share it. And if you're finding this series of videos useful, if you have any comments, any feedback, please do use the comments area below. If you are interested in finding out more about data validation, if you're not sure how to add in data validation, on our Learn Excel playlist, you will find a video indirect function in Excel to Excel examples, where we'll go through data validation in a lot of detail, where you'll get to see how you can set up a simple data validation and how you can also set up a data validation list that's dependent on another data validation list. We also have a simpler video on data validation, which is the third video in the Learn Excel playlist. Hi, my name is Paula and thanks for watching. Here at the Excel Club, I offer online Excel and Power BI courses for all levels. 
we have free courses to get you started and premium courses on more advanced and specialized Excel and Power BI training. You can access these courses on the website and from our apps and there's links below the video so please do explore them. We also offer custom Power BI and Excel solutions so if you want to create custom financial models or a Power BI dashboard then I can help you. You can find contact details also on the website. If you haven't already, I hope that you'll take the time now to give this video the thumbs up, like and subscribe. Don't be shy. Feel free to comment below and say hi. See you next time. Bye now.